Good afternoon. So today I wanted to bring you a little review on a boat that I purchased about two months ago. Uh, I've done a lot of research online and there's nothing that really goes over this boat in depth. There's a lot of like commercials but they don't do much for you. So I've had the boat for about two months. I've been uh, using it. As you can see it's pretty dirty. But I just wanted to bring to you a little review on the boat itself and what I like about it, what I'd like to change, and uh, some of the things I have done. Let's here we go. I'm going to uh, go ahead and uncover it and give you a walkthrough. But uh, first, before I uncover it, I, I will uh, just kind of show you how it came from the dealer. So I bought the Tracker Targa. 18 combo v18 combo uh, 2019 as you can see it's got the double axles they're just uh, the brakes on them are just the uh, drum surge brakes on both axles um, it came with the pro excess four stroke 175 it came with this nice cover It's got these little uh, pouches here for if you're uh, docked somewhere and you need to to reach your mooring cleats, you can get in there to them. It's all on all four corners. The trailer uh, comes with the trailer, fits very nice. I, I, I like it. It pulls well. It's easy to back up. The boat is quite heavy. It's almost 4,000 pounds, I believe, towing it. Um, so I purchased in the 2019, the, the color that they, the new color of the blue is a dark blue, which I really like. Motor's got a stainless steel prop on it, 17 pitch. Yeah, she's dirty, but she definitely, uh, has been used. So I, like I said, I wanted to use it a little bit before. I gave you guys the review, that way you're, I could give you an honest one, I guess. So as you can see, the, the cover is just a ratchet, ratcheting tie downs. You got that nice little zip up there. All right, just some quick basics. It does come with a swim platform, the ladder, kind of squeaky. Uh, your fuel fill is here, 40 gallon tank, let's climb up in here, so as you can see I've got it plugged in here, this is for the trolling motor batteries, which are in this storage here, it does come with a NOCO Genus Gen 2 2 bank, and uh, th that's nice just being able to plug it in and overnight, and then you're ready to go for the next day. And here is a 40 ga 48 gallon live well. And honestly, the only thing I have to complain about really is that. So you can see it hits the seat, and it's kind of annoying. I bought some taller seat posts, but um. I'm not sure how I feel about them yet, but it comes with the bait well, live or bait well bucket. It comes with the dividers here. Uh, there are lights on the inside, as you can see here. And then these do not lock. Over here is the same thing, part of the live well. There's a plug in the bottom. The red there is your recirculation pump or your pump out and then a light over in this corner as well and then once again still hitting the seat and like I said the uh, live bulb does not lock back here is your cranking battery not much to see but this one locks as well as the uh, the trolling motor battery here are some lights. Um, 
this little dealie here is for your ski pylon. So you can actually pull a tube or skis. And I, I've pulled a tube already and it actually pulled very well with this uh, 175 Merc. Um, another thing that this boat has that I really like is the side storage. You can hold three rods up to eight foot, I believe, in here. And this is lockable. The gunnels are extra wide, which is super nice. Honestly, when you're out on the river, I can stand on them just like this and uh, fish, and the boat's very sturdy. Lockable rod storage on this side as well. As we come towards the center of the boat, we've got uh, three pedestal mounts back there, so you can actually put in a couple seat mounts here. And this flips up as well for two more seats, except for that I haven't even used them, but maybe once. I just prefer the larger casting deck. Um, the Versa track is very hard to find parts for, but uh, I found these little rod holders and I'm, I'm digging them. They're li I like them very much. They're all aluminum, kind of pricey for what they are, but uh, they tend to work very, very well. Uh, you have your lockable glove compartment right here. You have lockable foot storage. On both sides, passenger and driver, captain. Comes with the center rod locker, lockable, which is really nice. Holds up to eight. I believe it's seven foot six rods in there. These are seven six and they fit, so I know that uh, it's at least seven six. It might be eight foot. I, I'd have to look it up. More lights. In the center down here, you actually have a large in floor storage. I have a bunch of stuff in there, but it's lockable as well. Very nice. One thing I wish I would have been able to do is the carpet. I'm not a huge fan of. Um, I wish I could have. I wish I would have built it and just done all vinyl. It's much easier to clean, and uh, you don't have to worry about stains and whatnot. It'll come up really easy. So moving towards seating position. Oh boy, this thing is hot. So you have your voltage, and here's your RPMs with your trim levels. This is your miles per hour, which I've already noticed after two months, it doesn't quite read correct, which I guess what boat really does. Fuel level, which is, seems to be pretty accurate, and then water pressure uh, level, which this is this measures the the water coming out of your motor, which is going through it and cooling it. Over here you have all your gauge, all your buttons. Master turns everything on. If this is off, nothing works. So this turns on, you get your navigation lights. Up is your anchor, down is your nav lights. So that down would turn them both on, up would turn just your anchor light on. Then your live well lights, which lights up both live wells. Your bilge, your uh, forward aeration pump for the libel up front, which is manual here and down is auto. And it runs on a, every two minutes, I believe it cycles for 30 seconds. Uh, then then your uh, your aft air live well is your same way, manual is up. This is basically fills the tank and then this one is your auto. And then this one here is for up would be the recirc. The forward tanks and, and at the down would be the recirc, the aft tank. Um, on those little levers, if you pull it out, I'll show you here. So on this red one here, the way it sits right now is it's just going to recirculate the water. If I was to pull this out, it actually starts pumping the water out. Then it comes with a hook, Lawrence, seven inch, triple shot, uh, depth finder. Um, I like it. I'm, I'm, I still want to upgrade though. I want to go to the TIs at some point. In the middle, you've got your windshield locks. Moving to the front, 
came with a power drive Minn Kota, 70 pound thrust. I have already, one thing I do like about this is when it's plugged in and not working, you can test the, the, the battery level, so that's nice. But I have already upgraded to an iPilot, and believe me, this is wonderful. So, as you can see here, it's got the backrests, and I do have um, the, the cushions here, but I fish this boat. I don't really pleasure it too much, so we uh, they're just in storage in my shed. Here's your other 19-gallon live well. It's got a little water in there. And then on this side is dry storage or can be used as a cooler. This is lockable, live well is not. Here is a uh, tackle storage. This is really nice. I've got two tackle trays, 3700 series Planos in there. And that one, and in that one, which makes for storing a lot of tackle nice. Then it also has these side nets. And I've first wasn't so sure about them, but I store tackle boxes. Over here, I've got all kinds of rubber worms and so-and-so, another tackle box. And then as well, lighting here. It also comes with the 12 volt outlet right there, a cup holder, and uh, your tilt up and down for your motor, and this it controls the uh, forward light well. Um, Honestly, I'm really digging the storage. Um, it makes makes life easier when you can put a lot of stuff in. Oh, so in here, this is another thing that I, I'm not real happy with because this has to be up in order to access these. So this one and this one over here, you can kind of see I basically put stuff in those two that I'm not going to ever use that often. So in this one, I have first aid kit and some line for fishing, fishing line stored in this one. And this one stores the ski pylon, my oar, my navigation lights, and I, ha I was able to uh, stack my fenders inside of here too. So, it does come with a radio. I don't use it much. Like I said, it's, it's a fishing boat. It's not bad. Um, I think there should be, if you want it for that, you're gonna definitely gonna want to put some speakers up front. They, they're okay sounding back here, but they, they the windshield, everything kind of muffles it from being up front. Little side pocket here. I've got my, I've got a headlamp in there, and I, I keep my controller for the. or the uh, trolling motor in there. So it also has, back in this cubby, there's a 12 volt outlet. Same as on that side, there's a 12 volt outlet. We're charging your phones and whatnot. There's a cup holder there. There's a cup holder there. Uh, your horn is here. The horn's pretty weak too, I mean, I thought it'd be a little more manly. But uh, that's pretty much it. You got some side handles there to grab onto in there. Um, the 175 on it pushes this boat plenty well enough. Bigger is always better, right? But it, it's definitely a workhorse. It, it does move this boat very nicely. Um, I think that's about it for the walkthrough of the boat. Uh, if there's anything that you guys want to see, I will get it out on the water and, and do some videos out there. 
I'm sure other people are catching lots of fish, but I am been uh, pretty slow lately. But uh, I'll get it out, run it a little bit for you guys, and, and, and give you another review on the water. But for being just in my driveway, it's uh, this is it. I like it a lot. It does everything I want to do. I fish for lots of very different species. I do catfish, walleye, bass, uh, anything that's biting. I'm I'm there to catch it. I do eat fish, but I I sport fish a lot more than I keep fish. So so far, I've walleye fished with it, and I've haven't done too much catfishing, but I have done um, a lot of bass fishing. I'm able to get in all the tight spots. This thing doesn't. I mean, I've been in a foot of water and not been bottoming out or stuck or anything. I've been in six inches of water and this thing's still floating. So, obviously that might be, I'm reading six inches from the depth finder. So it's probably actually a foot because I'm, it's a little bit below the water, but I've had no problems getting into shallow areas. Another thing I did upgrade is I took the straps off and I put the boat buckles on. Those make, those are wonderful. 60 bucks I think and it's every bit of worth the money. So yeah, next thing I'll do, I'll get out on the water and we'll run it and I'll do some testing. I'll probably go fishing and record some stuff today but it's where I'm gonna be going is only trolling motor so you know, I won't be able to start the engine for you, but definitely give you some stability review on it, how nice and how it is nice and uh, smooth. Yeah, if there's anything you guys want to see more, uh, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.